Hello, pocket knife community, knife lovers, knife enthusiasts, interested viewers. Hold here. I want to do a initial unboxing and impression, first impressions, of the CJRB Cutlery Large Pyrite. And let me just back up. I did a review. These are these, these are echoes, right? CJRB Echo, okay. And there's been much comparison made between the CJRB Echo and the Pyrite. This is the normal Pyrite, not the large. Um, and some of the complaints were that this knife was just a little too small. And you know, I'm gonna tell you, I got big, thick hands and I agree, you know, I agree. But you know, listen, it's not like we don't like small knives. Of course we do. There's some knives that are small and some are big. I mean, they're like all different size knives. But for me, this knife is a little cramped, just a little, little bit cramped. And if you're gonna compare it to the Echo, then I'm gonna go with the Echo because it's a bigger knife. And it's not significantly bigger. It's just bigger. It's just big enough to be better. <laughs> okay. So lo and behold, um, but I I like this platform. I do like the Pyrite uh, platform. Lo and behold, CJRB comes out with the large um, Pyrite. So let's just get into that. Let's do the opening, uh, box, an unboxing, and um, we'll we'll get into it. There's one thing I didn't mention. This isn't just a regular CJRB large pyrite. This is actually the Knife Center exclusive. <laughs> and we'll talk about what the difference is uh, with the Knife Center ex exclusive for this knife. Okay. Uh, your typical box. Got these. Knives come in, CJRB. I like their boxes, real nice, good quality. And they all have, they all come with a pouch, a knife pouch. Yep, okay. A little bit of cleaning cloth, really nice. And I love this about their pouches. They always have some type of soft, nice material in them. Really, really good quality. Very nice, especially for the price. Their price point is excellent. All right, let's get to the knife. So, the difference with the Knife Center exclusive is that Knife Center decided to come out and do this knife with titanium bolsters and black micarta inlays technically yeah sort of like an inlay and okay so let's just get a look at the difference okay so yeah so the complaints i had about the size looks like they be they go away and lo and behold really nice i already know i already like the action better even though i'm not the biggest fan of um Thumb studs. I would love this in a deployment hole instead, but you know, anyway. So yeah. <clears throat> yeah. This is a much, much larger knife. Uh these are completely two different categories of knife. Definitely. This is in um stainless with the uh stone finish. <laughs> Look at that, right? Stainless with the stone finish on the blade. So this is a big upgrade. Um, yeah. Knife Center did their thing. And, you know, let's just address the elephant in the room. Might as well address it right away. Okay. Under $80. I mean, listen. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I'm not sure how they even did it. I mean, you're talking about the large pyrite titanium bolster lock black micarta titanium milled 
beautiful titanium milled pocket clip. Let me see how good it is before I say it's beautiful. Oh, nice. Oh, very nice. Goes in the pocket, holds very nice. Flexible enough, but not too flexible. Very nice pocket clip. Um, really handsome looking knife. Uh, it's got a 3.7 inch drop point blade. The steep, uh, proprietary, yeah, the usual RPM 9 powdered metal RG steel used here. And yeah, yeah. So I'm just going to read the specs, man. The blade length is 3.7. The cutting edge is 3.4. So it's a 3.4 cutting edge. So it's not a small knife. Okay. Uh, overall length is 8.7 inches. Okay. Wow. This is a big knife. This is actually bigger than I thought it was. That's huge. Man. Let me, let me compare this to a PM2. Yeah. So. Oh, gosh. It's a big knife. Yeah. Once you start eclipsing PM2s, yeah, PM2 is 8 point, I think, 02 inches or something like this. So this is 8.7. Yeah, it's a big knife. Yeah, so it is It is large. <laughs> it's very large. Yeah. But I'm going to tell you, it's a button lock, and it really has a really nice, uh, really nice gentleman's uh, feel to it. It has a very polished... Uh, refined feeling. It's got exposed liners, you know, and uh, the micarta is excellent. The transitions are very good. I mean, you can feel them, so they're not perfect, uh, but they're very good. It's a consistent high. From the titanium to the micarta, it's a bump up, but it's consistent all the way across. Yeah, on well, my particular one is consistent all the way across. These look like eights. If anybody cares. Yeah, T8. Very nice. T8 pivot. Okay, T8 all the way around. Nice. I'm sure those are sixes in the clip. Yeah. Um, very nice. Uh, the blade is a satin finish on the blade. Very nice. The pocket clip is only tip up right side. So yeah, they, uh, yeah, they decided not to be flexible with that. And it's four ounces. Yeah, nice. Yeah, so first impressions, very nice. I'll carry it for a week, do minor tasks, cutting it. I mean, basic cutting with it. I mean, basically, listen, it's a knife. <laughs> it's going to cut. We know that. So it basically, when you carry one of these things for a week, it's basically just to see how it feels in pocket see how it feels you know daily carrying it how it sits in your pocket do you forget it's there a good knife you forget it's there it just sits so nice um even though this is a big knife the way uh it's not thick even though it's big it's not thick matter of fact right the blade stock you know, wow, exactly like the small one. Yeah, even though this is in a one cliff, the blade stock is still the same. So they didn't change the, the thickness of the blade. They just gave you a taller blade. Right, so it got this taller blade, but the same thinness. So it is slicey dicey. Slicey dicey, definitely. Yeah, nice, nice. Yeah, they, they did a good job. This is a very, um, yeah. Anyway, um, yeah. Knife Center, Knife Center exclusive. <laughs>
yeah under 80 bucks knife center i mean to get titanium for under 80 bucks and this pro and this um beautiful uh reverse flick on this is outstanding really nice and like i said i'm not a big fan of of um thumb studs i would rather have a deployment hole for some reason the geometry of this the reverse flick is just beautiful with these studs beautiful so if you're if you're a fidget fidget uh fidget junkie you'll, you'll like it very fidgetable <laughs> so all right that's all we got thanks